Hello my friends, this is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. In today's video, I am going to be checking out the new plugin by the company Neural DSP, the archetype John Petrucci. Since Petrucci is one of my ultimate guitar heroes, one of my favorite guitar players around the world, I couldn't miss this opportunity to test this new plugin by the man himself and Neural DSP. This is a 149 euros guitar plugin and it has a 14 day free trial also since i am a crazy guy i went ahead and seek and found some plugins that could get you closer to john petrucci's guitar tone i am very very familiar with the gear that he uses so i went ahead and seek out and found some very cool free alternatives that can get you closer in this video i am gonna be testing in depth archetype petrucci i'm gonna walk you through also the different sections of the plugin explaining some of the things that are included and of course i am gonna be explaining also the signal chain with free plugins that i built to try to get closer to this awesome guitar tone by the master himself also at the end of the video i am gonna be using these plugins in a full mix as usual all of the applicable links are going to be down below in the description and the first comment and don't forget to check out the timestamps as well that I leave you down below. Before we dive into the content my friends I would like to invite you to my website amnerhunter.com where I have some cool freebies for you. I have some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also I have some free tools available, a huge collection of guitar impulses, my Cubase mixing template among other utilities and of course I am gonna be giving away the free impulses that I gathered for this video. And of course, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. So without further ado, let's get to the video. This is how the plugin is set by default. As soon as you start the plugin, this is the main window. Is the fourth amplifier that it's available here. It's the lead tone of John Petrucci. I guess it's based on his signature model, the JP2Z. So you have four different amplifiers here. The first one, it's a piezo amplifier for acoustic guitar sound. He uses the piezo pickup on his guitar to achieve this tone. I didn't find a plugin that can emulate this. You have the usual controls here. You have a little bit of air on this amplifier. You can switch to the clean amplifier, which I'm guessing it's his Mesa Boogie signature amp. So you have gain, bright, bass, middle, treble, presence, master level. You turn off the plugin here and then you move on to the crunch channel or the rhythm amplifier that he uses as the main amplifier for rhythms for the riffs. You have the gain, you have a bite control here to add a little bit of top end and aggression, tight to tighten the sound, bass, middle, a mid boost, also treble, presence, master level, and you turn off and turn on the plugin. And finally, the lead amplifier for his main lead tone. You have a soar button here and the usual controls, right? Turn off and turn on the plugin here. So up here you have very particular controls. Very cool that they added this. Here's the regular gate, which uh, you can emulate with another gate plugin, pretty much any gate plugin out there. This is very interesting. This is a transpose knob, which will detune your guitar or will lower the pitch of your guitar. Very, very interesting. I didn't find a plugin that can emulate this without artifacts or strange noises. So this plugin does this very, very good. And then you have the input mode, right? If you have it in a stereo channel, you will be able to select it here. And then it's the doubler. Very cool. Also a nice addition. It makes the guitars wider in the stereo spectrum. So you feel like you are playing with two guitars. It's pretty cool. I wouldn't use the doubler on a full mix, for instance, but for practice, it's awesome. And you can spread the signal here with this button and disable or enable the function here. Then you have the cool presets by John Petrucci himself of different songs from Dream Theater, legendary stuff 
right here. If you're checking out the plugin, I suggest you go through these presets. They sound amazing. You have the factory presets and the artist presets. Very cool because here you have Andy Sneep with some presets and also Jimmy T, which is a recording engineer of Dream Theater for the last couple of albums. So he knows a lot about uh, John Petrucci's sound. You have some other artists here. Here you have a wah pedal, which is based on his Dunlop wah pedal. You can make it active here. Very interesting. You can move it with your mouse or you can move it with your MIDI pedal. Then you have a compressor. This is before the amplifier. All right. Then we move to these effects that are also before the amplifier. You have an overdrive. John Petrucci uses some Mesa Boogie overdrive pedals. He uses a phaser chorus and flanger then you have the amp section and the cabinet section right pretty interesting because they added a new function here you can use also a room microphone with these controls very useful to add more depth to the guitars to add more of that natural sound of the room where they were recorded here you can find impulse responses from the cabinets that john petrucci uses and also the mic positions he uses around three microphones in one cabinet these are the microphones you have two impulses that you can blend here with the mic level you can pan them the position the distance you can turn off also this section and this section you can use an impulse loader to maybe use your own impulses or you can also load a custom ir that you have on your library for instance so pretty cool, pretty interesting. And here you have the microphones that you can move also manually. You can turn off the cap section or any section just by double clicking. And you can enable that section just by double clicking as well. Then you have the EQ section. You have this equalizer. I used it to remove a little bit of low end here. Then we move on to this uh, section. This is a volume pedal that John Petrucci uses with a ton of reverb and delay to make this very ambient guitar sounds very useful and you also can use it with a midi pedal or you can use it with your mouse and lastly you have the post effects section where you have a chorus a delay and reverb which john petrucci uses a lot for leads for clean sounds so before i talk about the free plugins that i used and that i found i'm gonna play through this amplifier so that you can listen how it sounds like let's take a listen <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
As far as the free plugins that I used, I have here the signal chain based on the archetype Petrucci, all right? So first I need to put this plugin before every plugin. That's the condition to use the double tracker by Vat and Taranov. This double tracker allows you to have a mono source, listen to it open and wide in the stereo spectrum. So you can feel it as a stereo guitar track, which makes the illusion that you have two guitars very much alike that doubler that John Petrucci plugin has. Then I loaded this effector silencer by Quasa. This is just a noise gate, just in case you need it. Then I have this wah pedal. This is the woman. Pretty interesting controls that you have here. And you can also set this was automatic depending on the time that you set here. Pretty cool. Or you can use it manually. After this, I have this compressor. Just about any compressor will do the job. This is the M Compressor by Melda Production Audio. 
John Petrucci uses a lot of compression on clean guitar. After the compressor, I have Mercurial plugin, the grid smasher, which is based on a Mesa Boogie distortion overdrive pedal. And then I have this uh, new plugin by the company Audiority. This is the Dr. Face. Very simple to use with just one knob. You control the speed of the phaser, which John Petrucci uses as well, like in his plugin, right? Everything is here. Then I have the Valhalla Space Modulator, a beautiful, beautiful sounding plugin, which includes flanger, chorus, delay. Very cool. It has awesome presets, doublers, choruses, reverbs, things like that, that you can use as a modulation before the amplifier. I'm going to use a flanger here, a little bit of chorus and some audio examples. Then I have the magic switch. This is a cool chorus by the company Baby Audio. Very simple, just one button and one control here to turn off and turn on the plugin here. And this mix control allows you to use it in parallel, right? The more you increase this knob, the more effect you have on the dry signal after this the main thing right this amplifier by vadim Teranob. unfortunately this amplifier is only available for windows i couldn't find any other plugin that it's available for mac that it's simulating some mark series from mesa boogie amplifiers it is not specified if this amplifier it's emulating a particular Mesa Boogie, maybe mark 4 series mark 2c plus because john petrucci is known for using these amplifiers, the Mark II C Plus, the Mark V as well, and they combine all of these Mark series amplifiers and created this uh, John Petrucci signature model. It sounds amazing, one of my favorite free amplifiers, definitely. I am not exaggerating a lot, the controls, also the impulse response makes a ton of the work here. Then we move on to the impulse response loader. All right, this is the cabinet section, so to speak. So I am giving away three impulses that I created using some Dream Theater albums. Dream Theater Awake, Impulse Response, Black Cloud, Cerebral Linings, Dream Theater Images and Words. Make sure to put this in dual mono and also the amplifier in stereo. After the cap section, I have again the magic switch, the chorus, like John Petrucci here, which has a chorus after the amplifier and also a chorus before the amplifier. Then as a delay plugin, I have the Baby Comeback, also by Baby Audio, very cool. It allows you to use the ping pong effect, which uh, John Petrucci uses a lot. The final plugin on this signal chain is the Valhalla Supermassive, a beautiful, beautiful reverb plugin, also delay plugin in one that will give you beautiful spaces and ambient guitar sounds. The plugins that I am missing here is the clean channel and also the piezo or acoustic guitar type of sound. So let's check out the free plugins and at the end of the video let's take a listen to the two amplifiers in a full mix.
please let me know down below in the comments my friends what are your thoughts on this free plugin signal chain that i put together also let me know what do you think about the new plugin by neural dsp the archetype petrucci let me know if you are gonna be trying out this uh, new plugin and also let me know if you're gonna be trying some of the plugins of the free signal chain i will be more than glad to read your opinion about this before we go my friends i would like to invite you to my website amnorhunter.com where i have some free stuff for you i have some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players also i have some free tools available a huge collection of guitar impulses also included this john petrucci guitar impulses that I built and finally don't forget to check out my blog and this channel which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. Thank you very much for watching the video, thanks for your time, I appreciate it very much, I'll see you very soon on the next one, alright? Take care.